Hello friends, in last video I have discussed about how to install Jenkins and in today's video I am going to talk about how to create a new job and how to execute collection on daily basis from Jenkins job. So let me create a new job. Just click on new item. When you click on new item it will ask for the name. So let me give the name postman and now select on freestyle project and click on ok. And now this is the information here you can see here. So I am not going to discuss about all this uh, tab. So I am going to build tab. So when you click on build, now you have to go on build section and click on execute window wedge command because I am using window machine. So I need to enter the, the command. So let me open this command prompt. So here you can see this command so I was using earlier to execute our collects from new man. So this is the command new man run and give the you know collection name and if you are having environment then hyphen e then environment name file. So let me copy this command. So I have copied this command and go to here and here you can see at new main run and in Jenkins system don't know where is this file. So let's give the proper path. So in window if I want to copy the exact location then shift right click and click on copy as path. So this is the environment. So let me replace this environment first. Alright. Now this is a collection. Now shift right click copy as path and now replace this. So this is the actual path. So click on apply and save and now click on build now. So now you can see it fail. Let me check. So I am getting error like new main is not recognized as internal or external command. Even I have installed the new main in my system. So let me trigger from command prompt. See it is running. But Jenkins is not able to understand about the new main. So I am following the you know actual process from this postman page. But still my machine is not able to recognize. I don't know what is the, uh, what is the issue. So let me use one different approach. So the other approach is go configure and build. And now what you have to do, you have to go the folder where your new man is installed. So this is a place. If you go here, node module, this is actual. C drive, users, admin, this is my user, app data, roaming, npm and node modules. So in node I have installed newman as well as a html extra. So go to newman folder and this is the bin directory. So now I have explicitly informed Jenkins. So this is my bin. So this is my environment variable something like this you can understand. So first cd and this and now you have to write node and new main so this is a one other way in case if you are also getting the same error then you can use this command okay first navigate to this bin folder of new main where new main installed then node new main then run then you know pass the collection name so shift and right click copy as path and paste here and hyphen e environment and shift right click copy as path so this is my environment and just click on apply and save and click on build now let's see this time what is happening so console output so here you can see the response so there is some unicode character that's why unable to read so click on view as plain text and here you can see a total 30 assertion and two fail so i'm getting the same response what i was getting in your command prompt here the same so Jenkins this is how we can trigger all right so now we can generate the report as well so I was using like CLI this is for console logs and HTML extra so let me add this in Jenkins so postman configure and build and at last let me add this so it will create new folder at this workplace it is using right now this bin folder as a workplace 
right so let me click on build now so when i click on build now so i can see here logs and you can see here it is creating one folder here in this new main inside bin folder and execution completed and you know this is a report generated all right and there is couple of option if you want to trigger on periodically then you can select like you go to build trigger and go to build periodically and just mention five times this so it means every minute it will trigger so every minute you can see here so if i click on apply save and you will see so every minute it will trigger so now you can see here the build is triggered automatically this four number and you know execution completed all right and if you want so you can report as well one new report it created all right all right guys that's what i want to cover in this video if you're having any question or any doubt you can ask me into the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much